Welcome back to the video darkroom. In this video, I'm going to take you through how to record the screen with audio on your DJI drone controller. I'm using the DJI RC2, but this should work with any controller. So let's get into it. In order to make a recording, you simply drag from the top of the screen twice and then tap on the record screen button and you're recording the screen. You can move the little indicator to anywhere you want on the screen and when you've finished recording, simply tap on stop. For audio, I'm going to be using the Rode Wireless Pro. It's convenient to use a radio mic. You could use the DJI one or, or any other one for that matter, but it is handy to be able to just link one part of it to the controller and the other part it can be pinned on your jacket or shirt. Any USB mic can be connected using the USB-C port on the bottom of the controller. I'm just using the supplied USB-C cable and I'll plug that into the receiver of the Rode Wireless Pro. Having done that, it's quite easy just to clip that onto the cable at the bottom and it seems to stay reasonably secure for me. And I can then pin the transmitter to my jacket or my shirt. Now that the screen is being recorded along with my voice, I'm just going to start the camera on the drone recording video so that we can show how to synchronize that up with the screen recording and get everything working in sync. To do that, I'm just going to move around to the front of the drone and I'm going to clap my hands, hide a synchronization point for the audio and video. Let's have a look now just to see how to use that synchronization event like the old style film clapperboard to synchronize up all of the audio and video in post. I'm in Windows now and I'm going to plug in the RC2 controller. As soon as you do that, it should pop up on your screen. Um, and um, here it is. If you have a micro SD card also plugged into your controller, it'll show up here as being a separate device. So we can open the internal storage and go straight to the folder called Movies. And in that folder, you'll find the screen recording that you've just made. And you can copy that screen recording straight into the folder that you're using for your video editing. I have my standard template empty, empty project set up here in Premiere Pro. This is it. And um, I normally keep a bin for media. So I'll just move to the, the file that contains my media. I like to have everything in the one folder. So I'm going to take everything except the LRF file because Premiere won't immediately recognize that LRF file. So I'm just going to drag those into media and we have them there. I'm going to create a new sequence, control N, and I'm going to call that um, sequence recording. It's a 4K sequence because it's a 4K video from the drone. And I can simply take all three of these files and drag them in. Let's take the DJI video file and put that on to video one. So we'll just keep the existing settings. So this is the video file that I've just recorded. I'm then going to take the screen recording and drop that onto video two. And finally, I'm going to take the WAV file from the Rode Wireless Pro and drop that onto Audio One. So I now have all my files there. The file from the, the DJI drone doesn't have any audio with it. So we're going to have to synchronize that up in a, in a different way. So I'm going to um, select the two audio files, which will also cause the video component of the screen recording to be selected as well. The one that we're leaving out is the actual drone footage. The file from the road and um, this gr green track here is uh, is much longer because it's been uh, recording on the transmitter for a much longer period of time, but we'll not worry about that. So we just really right click on those and click synchronize and say OK on that. So we've synchronized the two files. This one is not synchronized yet, but we're going to have to, to do that. Let me just switch off the visibility on that track for the moment and look for the place where I clapped my hands on the other. Right, OK, so it's right here. So I'm just going to move forward to the point where my hands are 
touching. And on that, I'm going to make sure that that track is selected. I'm just going to drop a marker onto that at that point. I'll now switch the visibility and look for the recording on the drone. So just going to go back. So again, I'm just going to step forward to that point, and that is basically there. So I'll just drop a marker onto the DJI drone recording just at that point. And then I'm just going to align the two markers. And that's that's, I think, done. Let me just zoom it in a bit to make sure. Yeah, it's done. Just going to zoom back out to see the whole sequence and go to the start of where we started recording the screen because that's really the only bit that we're interested in so i just want to take the audio file from the rode wireless pro and i'm going to ripple delete that okay so we now have a recording um basically of me talking but also that's the point at which we start the drone recording so if i was to toggle off the visibility and that you can see that we we go on straight to what's recorded on the drone itself. And if I move along a little bit so that we're, we're here, you can see that the two are synchronized um, perfectly. So there's the screen recording and there's the drone recording and there they are perfectly synchronized. So thanks for watching the video darkroom. If you learned anything from this video, then please like and subscribe and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.